We got started in foster care in large part because we knew that the need here is really great. Um, we wanted to bridge the gap between the needs in our community and what we could do. Um, and we wanted a personal way to get involved with the broken in our community. And we had watched a lot of foster families at our church and in our community and just thought that was something that we could um, partake in and make a difference in a handful of lives, but in that difference make a big difference. Um, but we really felt called to foster to bridge the gap. Yeah, once we learned of the need, we really just felt like we couldn't not do something. That we felt compelled that we had room in our house, we could, so therefore we should. It was interesting too, I had felt so called to it for so long, and then once we really started to open our eyes to it, I started to feel sheepish of maybe we couldn't do this, maybe this was too much. And he was taking the lead of, no, we really need to run after this. So it was really neat to see how both of us kind of pushed each other forward and when we wanted to pull back, the other one said, no, no, we have to go. Um, but it's, it was intimidating, but it was so worth it. Every bit of it was so worth it. I think what children need most as they go through the foster care system is just honestly love. They often are bounced around from home to home and it would be great if we could get consistent, long-term homes, more concurrent placements for children so they're not moved. I don't like to see kids be moved from home to home. So just absolutely being able to provide them support, counseling for the trauma, things they've gone through, consistent support and love from the families and the people they deal with and as much as we can, keeping the same players in their life so that they don't have more frequent just bouncing around and, and having to adjust constantly. I would say what foster kids need most in foster care is stability, a consistency, a, a consistent place to come home to. Even our little girl, we got her at just three days old, but uh, through the year and a half that she would go to visits, she would come home at nine months old and just be frustrated internally and to be able to have a safe place to come home to, even at such a young age, was so important for her. And I can only imagine for the older kids, that, that level of consistency and stability is just such a vital part of them growing up. I think one of the best gifts we can give children in foster care is just to love them and to come alongside them and let them be kids. I think so often when you get kids who come from trauma or broken situations, they've had to either grow up really fast or they've been neglected um, and they don't know how to play or they don't know how to just let the grown-ups do the work. And I think for us to just give of our hearts with no shame and no holding back and just provide love and grace and stability like he said, we can give them wings so they can fly. And I think kids just need to be kids. And it's easy to label them as, oh, this is a foster kid, oh, this is a different, they just need to be our kids. While they're in our care, they are our kids. And the more um, people in the community can just love them for who they are and what they are, um, the better off they can be because kids just want to play. They just want to be silly and they should be given that freedom.